God's love out of it. God's love out of it. That's a little poem I ran up on back in my catalog. Forgot all about it. I, th I think I'll read it. God's love out of it. Though an angel from heaven, Paul the apostle of me, should embrace the bondwoman and cast out the free. Don't believe them, beloved, or soon you will see. Your joy will be gone, you'll have no liberty. God's law is good when men use it right. The thief will think twice before visiting you at night. His law keeps the dead alien sinner in line. But I love my new master. We are doing just fine. His law is now written in the fleshy tablets of my heart. And every morning I get a new start. So if your joy in this life is becoming impossible, just maybe someone's telling you God's law is his gospel. There is no void of spirit, wrongly divided text. Some men cannot find not, that they will not use to bring doubt to your mind. Comfort my people should be their desire. Yet with great cunning they dangled them over hell's fire. They'll imply there's some Sabbath day on them that is binding. If you follow their lead, no peace you'll be finding. They'll say, don't you love God? Then give him your money. When it finds their pockets, you won't find it so funny. They'll have you, beloved, on a mission impossible. For you are not under God's law, but his gospel. The first thing you'll notice is you just want to quit. Because law without gospel takes God's love out of it. They'll leave you at Sinai and hardly mention Zion. This could be the reason those tears you've been crying. They'll po point to God's law while calling it gospel. You'll be scratching your head thinking this is impossible. They'll bring into the New Testament God's law they like best, then try to scare you with all of the rest. They'll bind up heavy burdens for the poor sinner's back and continue to, to remind them there is something they lack. And they won't lift a finger to lighten their load. They only add to it as they struggle life's road. Now Satan has his ministers that can quote God's law too. And it's cursed they make sure finds its way straight to you. Just wanted to remind you, dear child of grace, though not enjoying it one bit. Be watchful. Do not believe anyone that leaves God's love out of it. But anyway, I ran up on that poem and I thought I'd bring it to God's people out there while I was sitting here because it kind of fitted in with the, what is going on right now. <clears throat> the, little, the little videos I put up bringing uh, the distinction between law and gospel in scripture and how they always point to God's law to confuse and bring doubt to God's people. Well, I, you know, I'd like to bring make an analogy here, brothers and sisters. Uh, you ever noticed, uh, I've noticed that, uh, uh, that, you know, we don't get a whipping from God every time we do wrong. If we did, we'd be scared. God does it uh, chasing his children. Those, you know, every time you mess up, he goes long periods without, you know, uh, discipline, you know, without chasing his children. Because if he whipped us every time we uh, uh, miss the mark, uh, uh, it, 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 that's just not God. That's law. When you, when you, when you, I've seen coaches in, uh, uh, in, in ball and everything, and they'll, oh, every time that they'll, uh, every time that the, uh, the, well, I watch a, a girl softball. Every time they mess up, they'll get on to them. Saying, and, and and pretty soon they're just scared. They can't do anything, and the uh, batting averages go down. They start making errors. Because that's the nature of it, say, brother, sister. If you're tense, you play worse. But if you're up there, uh, say, let's just say you're getting up to bat, and you know that the that the your coach is not going to chew you out every time you you do, you don't get a hit or don't or do something wrong. Uh, he's going to show love, and uh, you you're more relaxed and you do better. I'm just telling you, that's the nature of it. Same way riding a bicycle, 
<laughs> you, so I just turn my kids loose and let, let them learn. They'll fall off. And just turn them loose and let them go. And they'll fall off. But maybe they, uh, but just watch them. Put them out on the grass. That way, when they fall off, it won't hurt so bad. But it's the same thing. It's the same principle. If you uh, if you're in fear all the time, you're not. Go that's not God's way of doing things. Uh, God's way is you. You're not worried about uh, if you mess up. If you need a whipping, it, that time will come. You see, brother and sister, but, but God goes long periods, and sometimes it's not even you haven't done anything. It's just time for your. Uh, it's time for you to the fellowship of His suffering. See, brother and sister, sometimes you haven't done anything. It's just time for the fellowship of His suffering. So that's what the little message I like to be, bring to you. Don't get a whipping every time. Uh, and we do wrong. That would be ter terrible. Say, that's law. Say, law and gospel. Gospel is his law is now written in the fleshy tables of our heart. Uh, we uh, the the law now. This is in the the law. Is not for the righteous. In other words, God's people. He he looks at us as righteous through the blood of Jesus Christ. So he said, "This the law is not." Well, this first this uh, first Timothy one and nine. The law is not for the righteous. It's for, uh, it's not for the uh, it's not for the righteous. It's for the unrighteous. It's for the sinners. For the uh, dead alien sinner that's gonna knock you in the head uh, when you, uh, you know, you get out of your car going to the end of the store or something. That's who the law the, the law is for. So his law is for. But look, tell me something, brother and sister. God, where you know where is the pity of his children in this? Thing? If any time you're you're watching something on the on the internet or something, and there's no pity in it, say, uh, uh, the father pities his children. Don't say where that is. One o three Psalms one o three. The father pities his children. God pities his children. When they was uh, he he the fed uh, the five thousand was it five thousand? But he fed the thousands. I don't y'all get the number right, but. Uh, he had compassion on him, say. Like, where is the compassion and where is the pity of his children in this doctrine of the law that's all over the internet and everywhere that I keep coming against on this on my little channel? There's no pity in that in that message, in the message you, you hear uh, that I put up this morning. There's no pity there. There's no love there. There's no uh, 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 compassion there. It's all it's all just a bunch of something to do, brother and sister. It's all it is. And, it, and uh, anyway, uh, I had just had a few things that I wanted to say there. Uh, the father pities his children, brothers and sisters. He pities his children. Well, sometimes, you, or we just, you know, you just look at, at your kids sometimes. Maybe you, uh, something, they'll, you, ha, you uh, tell them you're going to whip them, you know. And you don't ever, I don't ever whip mine, you know. I just have a little switch sometimes. But if you whip, you know, uh, the thing about it is, if you whooped them every time, you'd be, they'd be all, you know, they wouldn't lo they wouldn't love you. But I don't whoop mine every time. I just tell them, uh, uh, don't do that. But anyway, my part is, we pity our children. The father pities his children. There's no pity, and there's no uh, compassion in uh, those things that I put up this morning. That you uh, just go back and listen to it. Uh, whoever it was. I, mean, I don't call the names, but. Uh, uh, it's the same old, same old, you know, uh, something to do. It's a God's love out of it, say. To leave God's love out of it. I just came up on that poem. I thought I'd read it again. Uh, uh, no peace you'll be finding, brother. Said that you're on a mission impossible. That was a popular show back in the 60s, I guess. You're on a mission impossible. You can't and don't do it. You can't keep as long. You don't. And nobody can. It's 100% grace, the grace of God, his great love, not small love like uh, the, like all these people on the internet. Small love, poor mercy, not rich mercy. But anyway, that's uh, all I had on this little thing. I thought I'd bring that poem to you. I found it in my little catalog right here. thought I'd put it up for anybody that might be listening here. On, this is a Friday night. But, uh, I mean, Friday evening. Anyway, I'm sitting here looking at my time, how much I got. See if I can think of something else. But look, anybody wants to uh, comment in my comment section, uh, just put something in there. Put your, and then uh, like and dislike. Uh, anybody that's overseas, I love hearing from people. It just that lets me know uh, that 
this is getting out of a season that hadn't been, I haven't been uh, corralled up where it's not going anywhere at all, except around here and a few people that I know. But uh, anyway, just want to put that out there. God is a good God, a good God. He's everything he does is just right. And uh, that's uh, my point I wanted to make. And don't believe anyone that leaves God's love out of it, brothers and sisters. Don't believe anyone. I don't care who he is. Lots of time, brothers and sisters, uh, these people are, that are bringing these are God's people. That's why I don't ever call any names. Are God's people that have been have been listening to a wolf in sheep's clothing, and uh, and uh, have taken on their doctrine and spread it spread it around, and and uh, uh, they're in error of for whatever reason. They're God's people. So it's either they're either deceived. The word is they're either deceived or deceivers, brothers and sisters. That's the way it works. So uh, we should be compassionate. And But I'm on here right to uh, put the news out there. There's the deceived out there that are bringing you the wrong missions of something to do. And uh, and the de deceivers that know what they're doing. See? The people that are God's people know not what they do. Jesus said, and, and so did Stephen said. He, he prayed for the ones stoning him, saying they were his brothers and sisters, and they knew not what they were doing. Stephen prayed for them. Don't lay this sin to their charge. Jesus said the same thing to some he saw out there. He said, they know not what they do. So you have the know not what they do people that are bringing you the law. They've been tricked by the people that, by the old devil's people that have come all into the, to the, uh, amongst it and put it in the schools and stuff, put it in their so-called seminaries, <laughs> cemeteries. And they put it in there and they learn this doctrine of a something to do. And uh, they spread it out to God's people. And that's why we have so many, uh, uh, so much, uh, uh, so many of God's people are destroyed in this present evil world. But they're still God's people, just the same. But anyway, that's all I want to say. I'm running out of time. Thought I'd bring that poem. And uh, uh, God bless everybody. Peace and love from this old boy down here in Alabama.